to the shack as always it's me josh and you're watching arachnid shack arachnid shack is a brand new channel devoted to all things arachnid but more specifically tarantulas so if you like bioactive enclosure build tutorials tips and tricks care and husbandry videos feeding and breeding videos unboxings rehousings and all that other good stuff tarantula related then you may want to consider subscribing and when you hit that subscribe button make sure to smash the notification bell and turn on all notifications. That way, as soon as I upload new content, you'll be notified and you won't miss out on anything that's going on inside the shack. Now that is out of the way, super excited for today's video. I've got two new additions to unpack and rehouse in these two vials here. And I also have a couple more rehouses that we need to get through. So in here, I've got an OBT. In here, I have got a Grandma Stola Polk piece, and in here, I have got two sub adult, I say sub adult, they're probably more juvenile, unsexed feather leg baboons, Stromata Pelma Calcetum, I believe the Latin name is. So, yeah, these guys are a little bit bigger. So, first things first. Put them over there. So, these here. I'm gonna to have to look the scientific name up because it's a bit of a mouthful. Is Ornifoc Tonus. Ornithoctonus, Ornithoctonus oreotibialis. Yeah. Ornithoctonus, Ornithoctonus oreotibialis. I think I've got it. Yeah, one more go. Ornithoctonus oreotibialis. I think that's right. If you guys have heard of these or you guys have got these, and I pronounce that correctly, please do leave me a comment below. I think we stick with Thai Golden Fringe for the moment. So, obviously, these guys are Asian. They are fossorial tarantulas. A little bit worried about unboxing these guys because they're going to be super quick. So, I think we need one of these. And I need their enclosures. Enclosures. What did I do with them enclosures? Ah, there they are. Cool. So, 500 mil. Um, plastic jar with ventilation drill around the top. Substrate's medium ish, not too wet. I will get some moisture in there. And I'll make a little starter burrow. Catch up. Okay. Let's see what happens. It looks about two centimetres. Phone struggling to focus. I 
I'm ready to not like the way you are moving in there, young man. You look a bit bolty to me. There we go. If you're going to be calm for me. You're going to be super bolts. Let's see if we can get this on camera. struck the tweezers. These guys have got pretty bad attitude. The dude's not bolting so far, which is good. Let's see if we can get a camera on him. Yeah. Okay. Oh. He's not giving up. There you go. One in. Super bad attitude. He literally struck the tweezers. Proper attitude, little sling. Which is good. So. Ornithonoctus. Ornithonoctus. Oreo tibialis. I think that's right. So number two. Okay, a little bit of mixture. So number two. Let's see what we've got here. I'd imagine. So I advertise both as two centimeters. Hopefully, oh, this one looks like it's near the top. Maybe it's facing outwards. This one's done a little bit of webbing. Take this out now. Okay. 
goes number two. Okay. Catch cup as always. Don't want this guy to bolt off. Apart from down into his new enclosure. Straight in that one. If I didn't want to curse it and say that was too easy. See the lovely golden hairs. I wanted to add some of these to my collection for a long time. These grammar style polka pins probably won't need this, so we'll get rid of that. This is the specimen here. I like to use these pots for slings because they are, I think, 70 mil wide, and I find the little vials like this, when you moisten the substrate, you pretty much have to moisten the whole area in one of these, but with this, you can sort of moisten one half or one third of it, so the transfer can actually choose if it wants to be on the moist side or the dry side sort of thing, so I actually like using these pots. It's where is this little guy? I think it's hiding under here. There it is. Can't really see because of the light. It's probably about three and a half, four centimetres at the moment. This guy's got an incredible feeding response. The last time I fed him, he struck at the tweezers and actually jumped out of his pot. So yeah, Grandma stole up pulchra peas. So we need an enclosure. Set up for him. So this piece of cork bark here, actually glued it to the side there. So if he digs underneath, it won't fall in. And I've made a little starter burrow there. And then I've hot glued some plastic plants into the corners. So a pretty basic setup. do have water dishes as well, which I will be adding. So, little matey, are you going to come out for a walk? Come on. Can we stub in there? Come on. Don't let me lift you up now. Come on. You don't want to go, do you? Come on. Really didn't want to go there. <clears throat> mm. 
Okay. Grandma style that poker piece. Moss on one corner. And I will add a water dish when you take him up and put him back on the shelf with the rest of the collection. That was quite easy. Okay. OBT. <laughs> this probably won't be as easy. So, here's my OBT. It's way too big for this pot. I've been putting this rehouse off for a long time, obviously, because it's an OBT. Um, but yeah, let's just get it done. So, we need an enclosure. Excellent. So, what I've set up for my OBT, let's have a little look. So, people say that OBTs are similar boreal. Um, most of my slings have burrow, but this one hasn't, so that's why I've set up this semi arboreal setup. So there's a little bit of height there and some cork bark and a plant to do some anchoring points if he does decide or she does decide, whichever, um, to climb. But then if you look inside, I've made a bit of a start burrow which goes down under the cork bark and I've also glued the cork bark in place so it will not fall if he does choose to burrow. So, enclosure, OBT, bolt box. Always, always have a bolt box when you're dealing with these guys. Catch cups, okay. Wish me luck. Square is it? Right out on top. Yeah, you don't look too happy. As you can see, this one hasn't burrowed. It's starting to go a little bit orange, it's starting to get some colours, there's some blue highlights on the feet, which are nice, but as you can see, this one hasn't burrowed at all. So yeah, starting to get some orange. I don't know how true it is, but apparently once they become orange, that's when they become a problem. It is very orange, so I think the best way to approach this is catch a couple on top. I originally ordered two um, on a large order from Spiders World EU, and they sent me four. So if you thought one OB2 was enough, yeah. Anyway, do not bolt, you turd. New enclosure. Hopefully a simple poke down. Oh. Did it just fall? Yeah, what a beautiful spider that is. Absolutely gorgeous. Cool. 
So I'm actually going to get the lid on before this dude decides to run away. So there we have it, OBT. Not that bad at all. There's an incredible looking trench though. Really happy guys. So, two more to go. Now these guys are quite a bit bigger. Um, I've not actually prepared the tanks yet. I'm going to do that whilst we film. So, well, magic. I knew that three day training course at Hogwarts would eventually pay off. Um, okay, so these are two and a half litre. They are probably a little bit big for these guys, but I don't fancy rehousing these guys anytime soon. So these will do for a little bit longer. So mine have not burrowed, but they like making dirt curtains. So I'm going to give them quite a bit of substrate and a cork bark tube. And I'm also going to glue in some fake plants. Um, ah, I need to go and get my plants. Give me one second, I will be back. Magic. So I'm using fake plants in these enclosures because these guys are from Africa. They don't like loads of humidity. So bioactive is out of the question. So I've got some different bits and pieces. I've also got a couple of nice bits of cork tube. Move them out of the way. Yeah, some nice cork tube rounds. Cork tubes. We'll probably glue them in, glue some of them in, add some substrate, some leaf litter, and then the specimens. Let's do this. So, the first one. We just put that like that, coming out the substrate. So I'll probably put a double glue at the bottom just to hold it upright. Okay, so I've anchored the bottom part in to a certain degree. Now we'll do some plants next. So, maybe one of these, mm, maybe after, let's get some substrate in there. down the front.
Cool. Glue. I'm pretty happy with that. Looks pretty cool. So we'll do the next one. I'm not going to glue these this time, I'm just going to stick them in the mud and see what happens. So, caught bark. I'm not sure you can do this, I'm it more across. I'm make it a little bit different. Maybe to the front. Actually, not bad. Possibly. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Maybe not the central chair would be pretty cool. Yeah. Hmm. Central chair, let's give that a go. So this one will glue straight in the centre. Not tried this before, but then we will have a go. This glue just takes forever to dry, so you left the bear with me. Cool. Let's get some substrate in there. So number two from the front, from the side, and from the back. I like this bit down here because they do sometimes burrow down, um, like mine have. So let's get these ones out. Bolty box.
That is absolutely gorgeous. So, pokey pokey. Go. One feather leg for burn. My phones are going to focus now. There we go. Number one. Stromatopelma calciatum. Calciatum, however you pronounce it. Feather leg for bone. Cool. That's number one. <clears throat> now for number two. Hopefully, this one will go as smoothly. Cursed it now. Okay, so the other one is down low hiding. Let's see if I can get a reaction. There's a second one. Doesn't want to come out of his web tile. There he is. doesn't want to come out. Here we go. Don't you go back in or come out. So there is number two. A little bit more difficult that one.
There's number two. Absolutely beautiful. Arboreal baboon tarantula. Wonderful. Cool. Let's get the lid on this one. There we go. Well guys, that went a lot smoother than what I originally thought it would. Unfortunately, that is it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.